Mr. Grilly, how do you feel about central banks in Europe and here in the US and then more broadly, you know, with roll on effects in countries where you do business, raising rates or, or tightening quantitatively? What are your concerns? Well, uh, <laughs> we have been at talking a lot about this. Of course, uh, uh, there are concerns because uh, this have been, both the stimulus has been unprecedented and of course, uh, you know, uh, reverting the engine is also going to be unprecedented. So I think that, uh, however, uh, you know, the way in which, uh, you know, the, the, the authority, the central banks have been uh, guiding uh, the market tour, uh, that moment has been very, very good. Uh, so there are all the, uh, so the, the, the problems that are linked to how will the economy uh, react, especially maybe in some country which are probably re less uh, resilient than others uh, to this change in monetary stance. And so I think everybody is going to look at what is going to happen to uh, uh, yields, interest rates, what is going to happen to the sovereign bond markets. So all, uh, you know, issue that, uh, as I said, in uh, less uh, resilient country uh, uh, are there to be uh, watched. Yes. Can you give us some examples and perhaps an idea of where M&A and investment banking might suffer as a result of this? Well, I think that M&A investment banking, I, I don't see them as uh, uh, the primary in, uh, you know, institution uh, uh, in, in which will be suffering out of that. Uh, I think to the country right now, uh, the view of, of the market and our institutions is quite positive uh, you know, across the globe and in Europe. I think that probably has been many years uh, since uh, we don't see such a positive uh, economic outlook in all the major areas of the world, you know, America, Europe, Asia, Asia, they all are in a positive tone and uh, getting better. So I think that that is, uh, I think, the driving consideration right now in uh, evaluating how the market is going to perform, how uh, it, probably the M&A world and transaction uh, are going to develop. And we see already a lot of activity and we don't see that, uh, you know, stopping uh, uh, at all. Uh, we see that there is a lot of interest uh, for M&A, cross-border M&A, cross-country. You know, a big example right now, I am here in Milan because we are holding our, you know, annual Italian conference. We have, you know, 10% uh, increase in uh, investor coming down, 130 uh, different kind of investment from all over the world and showing a very positive attitude toward uh, finding out more uh, uh, about investment opportunity in Italy in this case, but in Europe in general.